Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Twisted Retreat box for the month of January. This was supposed to arrive on Tuesday and it is now Friday, so it took a while. But it's also February now, so yeah, which makes sense for the most part. Um, it was supposed to arrive here on the last day of January, but I guess it took... it Like, it stopped tracking for a few days, but whatever. Let's see what's inside the box. So, here's everything inside this month's box. Oops. Okay, so the first thing I want to grab is the spoiler card. So, let me just read everything. Um, okay, so the first actual item is this thing right here. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, this seems to be a storage organizer. Now, I received this type of item before from my like, fairy loot. Um, it's basically the same thing, but um, I have my fairy loot one over there. Um, and this one is more of a square shape compared to the fairy loot one where it's more rectangle. So, this one is taller than the fairy loot ones. Um, so, there's that. I like these, they're useful, but this one. It's pretty, it is pretty, but it is also very, um, like the coloring, the printing is very, very faded. Um, but it says, where there's no imagination, there is no horror. So I do like that, and these are definitely useful, I used them, so I do like it, but, um, yeah. And that one is a collapsible organizer. Who's your horror inspired collapsible organizer to store whatever your heart desires? So yeah, so that's our, that's really really cool. Um so let's go ahead and grab the next item inside here, which seems to be a whole bunch of stickers. So there's three stickers inside here. Um and they're really cool. I do like these stickers. Um they're holographic as well, which I love. So that's really, really nice. Um, so there's just a spooky sticker set. And uh, these adorable stickers were designed by, under, I mean, L-Y underscore Barry for this box. So that's really cool. And then we have this right here. So let's go ahead and see what this is. Take that out of there. So this is just a bar of soap, um, and it says things have gotten worse since we last soap, uh, to three tree soap, um, and this seems to be inspired by, um, things have gotten, things have gotten worse since we last spoke, um, uh, which is inspired by Erin LaRocca, um, novella. So this is a dead sea mud bar, which has many skin benefits. So, there's that. So, you can actually smell it through here. And it smells really good. So, that's really cool. Uh, let's move on to the next item here. Which is this. Which seems to be a large item. So, some type of fabric or paper stir or something maybe. Okay. It is very big. Very large. Um... Which I might have to um, show you guys in a different clip. Yeah, because this is even larger than the blanket that we received last month. So I am going to just put um, a clip over this. Um, it has a quote on it. So I'm going to like to read it because it's so big. Um, if I touch a burning candle... I can feel no pain. If you cut me with a knife, it's still the same. And I know... Oh my god, it's so hard to read. <laughs> and I know it's still the same. And I know her heart is still beating. And I know that I am... I am dead. Yet the pain here that I feel... Try and tell me it's not real. <laughs> and it seems I still have a tear to shed. So there's that quote. It's very long, but I do like the quote, but it is very long. Um, the pattern is nice, I guess, but this is not something that I need in my life or want in my life. Um, 
And that is a spooky tablecloth. This beautiful tablecloth has a spooky design and a beautiful quote that is perfect for the Valentine's Day season. It was designed by T Pickle um T Pickle um dot ghost. Um God. Um okay, so I um really I like the quote on it, it's very nice, but I do not need a tablecloth. Um I don't need it. I'm not gonna get any use from that. Um so yeah. Anyway, let's just move on to the next item now, shall we? So the next thing here we have our Twisted Retreat spooky candies. So each month we get like a beverage or a snack and this month is a snack. Um so these are hard candy which I am not a fan of hard candy typically but I do like I guess every once in a while it's nice. So this twisted exclusive Hickleberry Hard Candy is perfect to enjoy while reading this month's book. And these are from a shop on Etsy, uh, Cheese Bros Confections. So yeah, um, it sounds like they will taste good, but again, I'm just not a fan of hard candy. I wish they were kind of like gummies. I probably would enjoy that better, but yeah, um, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so far, I'm not that big of a fan of this month's box, which is kind of disappointing because I love every single box that I have received from them um, until this month. This month is just not hitting as hard um, as their other ones, but I guess that's okay. Not every single month is going to be as great, but let's just move on to the next item, which is a candle that they do every single month. Um, so yeah. So this month's candle is inspired by Jane Eyre um, from the top and also on the actual bottle um, is the tarot card, which we also get a matching tarot card with it. So they include one of these in every single month as well. So yeah, let's see how it smells. It smells, it smells pretty good. Um, not my favorite scent though, but it does have a good scent to it. Um, and that is, um, let's see here. So Jane Eyre Tarot Candle. Light this candle when one phase of your life is coming to an end to help, to help guide you. Um, so yeah, I wish they included the scents, um, that it is. Cause I am very bad at describing smells as well. So I wish they'd done that, but whatever. Um, and then we have one more big box inside here, and then we have, um, the actual book. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this open for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of disappointed <laughs> in this one's box. Um, like I said, I love their other three boxes that they released. This is their fourth one they have ever done. So that's the inside of this box. I have no idea what this is. So these are light bulbs. <laughs> so there's two of those inside here, which is interesting. Um, okay, so here it is. I think I know what it is, because I think um, they did mention it at the sneak peek earlier. So yeah. Okay, so this is really pretty. Um, I like the rose gold color of it, and I also like the little bolt or the little design here on top. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the quote says, look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. So that's really nice. Uh, let's look at the spoiler card real quick. Um, so this is a candle warmer. This beautiful candle warmer can help melt the wax at the bottom of your candles or create a flameless candle experience. It was also designed by Ghost, which they seem to design a lot of their other stuff. So that's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, these are to melt your candles. So it's actually really, really nice and pretty cool. And I will be using this and I do like the design in it. And it, will be pretty pretty nice so um since we won't have 
a actual flame. It'd be a lot safer to use my candles and stuff. So I do like this item and I definitely see where most of the value went for this month um, towards this item. So I do like this. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the actual bug for this month now. Um, we do have a author's, um, a author's letter right here. So it has an art print on one side and then the author's letter, um, on the other side. So, yeah. So we have this month's book, which is The Tax and Bernie's, uh, Lover by Polly Hall. And I know I pronounced that wrong. I have a hard time pronouncing things, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah um so here is their exclusive cover um the original cover is a lot different which i can show you guys in from the spoiler card um so from the spoiler card here you can see the original um cover and then the exclusive cover here and i actually kind of prefer the original cover I kind of do prefer the original cover, to be honest. But this cover is still pretty good, though. I think they still did a great job uh, with the cover. I, I still like it, and I love the falling on on it. Um, I think it was great. So I am still, I still like the cover quite a bit. Um, so that's really nice. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. Um, so there's no reversible dust jacket art with. It seemed like they only done it once, and it was their first box ever, I'm pretty sure, where they did reversible full um, artwork on it. So I kind of wish they kept doing it for the rest of the month, but that's okay. And this is beautiful. This is better than the actual cover. So we have um, green and orange folding on the actual hardback design, and this is beautiful. So we have like a naked lady, kind of, and some flowers around her and I love it this is beautiful then on the back we have more beautiful um beautiful beautiful um falling on it with three different tools which are beautiful some scissors a saw and like a little knife and we also have beautiful spread edges here so the spread edges are very nice as well and it seems like on the top we have the scissors uh the middle we have um like the saw and the bottom we have like a little knife but my copy seemed to be damaged i don't know if you can see there my box my book came a little damaged with the pages which is very sad so i will be contacting them about that so this is really disappointing. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if you can see, but like the pages are very, very messed up there. Um, wow, that's actually very disappointing. So like the pages are a little rip from right here. Like on the actual page, they're like not noticeable really. They're very small, but like, it really just messed up the design right there. So that's very sad. I really hope you guys can see it, but that's really messed up. And it's also like down the middle as well. So um, that's disappointing that those are messed up, but whatever. I hopefully will get a replacement copy. But we had these beautiful end pages here. They're the same on the front and back. And then this month's book is not signed. It is digitally printed signature. So that's disappointing um, that it's not an actual signature. Um, but these pages are beautiful on the inside. Um, look at that. This um, heading is gorgeous. So I love that. Um, I think they're the same for each header. No, oh, this one is a little bit different. So that's beautiful. So I 
Yeah, this month's box has been quite all over. I'm disappointed to say the least. But I can see where some people will enjoy some of these items compared to me where I don't. Um, like I said, the organizer is nice, but the colors are faded, so and it's it's okay. I already have two from Fairloo, so I don't need another one. Um, but I will get some use out of it, so I mean, that's pretty good. Um, this month's candle is just okay. It smells fine. Um, this hard candy... Not a fan of hard candy, but I'm sure it still tastes good. Um, so that's okay. <laughs> uh, what else did we get? Oh, the tablecloth. Never gonna use that in my life. Um, so, yeah. The, I like the quote on it, but the actual design and the tablecloth is not for me. And then we had the this um kennel warmer which i do love this is pretty nice and it probably look good on the bookshelf as well um so i do like that and then we have oh we have this the three the three stickers or two um these are gorgeous so i do love those the bar soap is okay it smells good though so there's that for it um i love i love what they did with the bug i really do the books, the detail that they put into each book that they've done is gorgeous and I do love them. But it's sad that my copy is damaged. Um, so hopefully I'll, I'll contact them and they'll send me a replacement or something. Because um, that's very disappointed, disappointing. And it just ruins the whole, like, I just designed there. So, yeah. Um, but I'm still very excited to receive February's, um, Twister Retreat. I, I'm still ha very excited to get that. Um, I just think this month was just not for me. I'm sure people will love these items, but it's just not one of them. Um, like I said, I've been pretty happy with everything that they've done, um, in the past. So hopefully February box is better. And I know for their sneak peek, they're doing a pot plant, but it's like a like a um, shape of a bug i think um i know Illumicrate has had done those and i love those i love getting them from Illumicrate, so i'm very excited to see what twister retreat does with their design of it so i'm very excited for that in the february box so yeah anyways let me know your thoughts on the items that we received this month and on the book the book is gorgeous but again i'm just very disappointed on the edges there that's disappointing but yeah um anyway thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment below and hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys